predictions do we have today, everybody? My biggest hope is Kazuha. Maybe all of these men indicate that Dendro Archon's coming back. So the live stream actually wouldn't load right away when I was reacting live, so I didn't get to see the very beginning portion of the special program. So let's watch that to start, and then I'm gonna transition into the rest of the live stream. I can't believe I didn't I catch this at the beginning. Because it just wasn't loading. It existed for a very long time. Possibly longer than any records in existence. Hermit the soul? history of dragons starts from the very beginning of Dragons! Tibet. Dragon King? Sounds like an anime thing. We were victims the Dragon of the King. apocalypse. We also became the apocalypse itself. Bro, they show so this much here, the new region and everything! Or like uh, expansion. The Hilly <laughs> Trolls! No one can withstand the power of the apocalypse. The soundtrack is so crisp! Oh, here we go, here we go. Both of you have only existed for a fraction of what you know as time. What the heck? If you call yourselves lords of this land oh, by leaning on the heavens below. Is there any way to avoid fighting them? Hey! Wait. New quest! What is this? <gasps> the dragon! Life, death, oh. and the world around us all follow a set of laws. Okay! There he is! A bitter pill to swallow. You get it because he's a pharmacist. For the better. I like this. Feast your eyes. Yeah! Watch and learn. His briefcase. High octane start. Sight clear. More. The competition is heating up. Oh, and here's Kaveh bringing up the rear. Bring up the rear. What is this? Nice. That was a start. Oh, wow. Awesome. Hey, everyone. Is I'm Zach volume? Aguilar, and welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.6 special that program. That was a crazy good start. Wow, I, you know, I didn't expect we'd appear right after the trailer this time. I hope you all enjoyed that. Anyway, we've got a jam-packed program today, and we even <laughs> have more hosts than usual. So why don't we go around Dory and snuck in. To introduce ourselves. <laughs> sure thing. Hey everybody, it's so good to see you it's all. So again. Here to not hear I'm Kimberly kid voice. Ann Campbell, the voice of Nahida. I'm so excited but I hear, to like, the nasally back and share new portion. content with all of you. Oh, well, if it isn't the renowned traveler. Hello, everyone. My name is Anjali Gunapanani, and I'm the voice of Dory. Dory snuck Thank into this, I swear to God. She paid to get in. Sangama Bay with your shiny Mora. And I'm Sean Dury, yeah. the voice of Baiju from Boo Boo Pharmacy. Are you experiencing any discomfort? And how many days have the symptoms persisted? All of my life. Yeah, uh, mm, I'm pretty good, thanks, doctor. But I, I do have this problem where I am way too obsessed with my cute little chibi. Hello. Aww, that has a really too. cute rendition. All anyway, of them. I am sure a lot of our viewers have already seen our good characters too. pop up in the game by now. True. Yeah, you've all been a part of the traveler's journey at some point or another. That's right, and we'll be seeing everyone again to experience some new stories together in the upcoming version. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, me too. You know, I think we're ready to jump into some upcoming content. That's what like, I'm talking about. I don't know, one of our new playable characters in version 3.6. Uh, let Baby me know girl. if I'm saying this right. I think his name is Baiju? Baiju? Right. Is that how you say it? <laughs> mm, subtle shot. That was good, that was good, one. Nice. That was good one. I'm sure everyone's waiting to see which event wish the new characters will be appearing in. So let's get to our first redemption code. And Please in the be good. Meantime, everyone will also be able to check out some details about the version 3.6 event wishes. That was fast Sounds redemption good. code. Here we go, everybody. Screenshot quick. Wait, event wish preview phase one? Wait, Nahida's back? I didn't even notice I was looking at the code. Then buys you. God, yeah! 
Ganyu and Kabe. So we have Nahida, Nilu, Baiju, Ganyu, Shadefall, Splendor, new weapon, Catalyst. Put these codes in Discord. If you guys are watching the YouTube video, by the way, and want to get the codes to copy and paste on in Discord. One should take ample time to pause and appreciate the I love his snake. Along the way. What's the snake's name? You're about to collapse, aren't you? The doctor will see you now. He's so smooth. Taking a turn for the better. So he's got a shield ability. Okay. <laughs> okay. Baiju. That snake was awesome. Also, its design totally popped up on Baiju's Sheng Sheng. shield. Oh, I like that. Uh, well, I'm afraid of snakes, but Chang Chang sounds so cute. Yeah, me too. And also, random thought, but isn't Baiju the first male character with glasses? Oh wow! Oh. I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. Personally, That's true? I love his I voice. Glasses? I think it's amazing. Uh, the same. Also, you can't go wrong okay, with well, purple Okay, that's a little biased. You really can't. A <laughs> little bias on that one, bud. You know what? Okay, let's talk about Baiju. Baiju is a doctor at Boo Boo Pharmacy and is skilled at healing his patients. His abilities have helped Boo Boo Pharmacy make a reputation for itself in Liyue Harbor. But most importantly, Baiju is a gentle and refined physician and his heart is dedicated to helping the world. He tends to anyone who comes to boo boo pharmacy seeking medical attention regardless of their wealth or status good because i don't get any money i need to keep oh, my depression I see. so he's quick that kind of doctor what kind did you <laughs> think he was oh i don't know i kind of thought oh. he might be the type of doctor who oh. does good things but with his like, own nefarious plan the bad one you know like <laughs> i can save you but for a price. What? Bro, what? <laughs> I guess he just seems kind of mysterious like that. What was that switch up? Well, I give your imagination the some range. credit. But sorry, he isn't quite the suspicious doctor like you imagined. Right, In fact, like the doctor. He's actually a trusted physician among the people of Liyue Harbor. Everyone prefers to go see Dr. Baiju, no matter how so serious the problem He could be a healer and like a shield. But even though he works as a skilled physician, his own condition isn't so great. I know people say that doctors are the worst patients. Is I can't that see the case story for Baiju as well? Well, Baiju's case is a little complicated, and I don't want to give away any spoilers. So travelers uh, will have to we know check much about him that? out in game to learn more about his story. So zip, that's gonna that's be fun. <laughs> okay, well, no matter what happens, I just hope that he'll be able to take care of himself. Me too. But besides his health, Baiju also has some other troubles to worry about. For example, Director Hu will sometimes put up ads outside of Boo Boo Pharmacy to promote her funeral parlor. Oh, On top yeah. of that, poor little Chi Chi is terrified of Hu Tao. So there True. are some days where Baiju really has his hands full. Yeah, that does sound like something that Hu Tao would do. As fate would have it, <laughs> Baiju's master and the former director of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor both studied together under the same master. Lord. But the two had differing views on the concepts of life and death and ended up going their separate ways. Their differences mm. were passed down to their apprentices, which has led to Baiju and Hu Tao's different views. Differences, yeah. In version 3.6, travelers will be able to play through Baiju's New story quest. quest to hear some of Baiju's inner thoughts and learn more I'm about excited. this doctor. I'm excited for this. I can't wait to check it out. In his search for discovering new treatments and cures, Seamless Baiju Shield. will often choose to test new medicines on himself. Oh, with healing effects. As you spend time with Baiju in the field, you can make use of his knowledge of herbs and interact huh. with certain harvestable items, which will heal your current active character. So, since Baiju is a doctor, I think it's pretty safe to say that most of his combat abilities are focused his on healing. His farming will right? heal you. Yep, that's right. Baiju's treatment in battle I'm is never usually gonna lose now. in two steps. I'm going to collect Step everything. Step one is to control a wandering sprite that cruises through the enemies and restores okay, HP to his teammates. Step two is to create a shield. When the shield refreshes, ends, or is broken, not only will it provide healing, That's but so it will cool. also deal That's good. dendro damage to enemies. That's good for me because I always take unnecessary damage. <laughs> spot, as long as the diagnosis and treatment are done properly, lives can always be saved. Sweet. Looks like we'll be able to try out some new team compositions with him in mind. I like for this. Sure. I well, like I, this. I think that's all we have for Baiju. This is so a win let's move of on a to character our next to start. Playable character. I bet many travelers already Ka know him well. Baby girl! I'm glad you gave me a chance. I always think it takes people with some to sustain a pleasant conversation. 
I want his story quest, man. I want to dance with him. A little tango, you know what I'm saying? Come at me. Breaking I love the ground. briefcase. Okay. Combat looks really cool. Like the little spin around the the claymore. Is it a claymore or a sword? <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> nice. Okay, okay, okay. Did you see him make Dentro cores explode on command? That'll be useful mm. for me. Yeah, that was crazy. And the toolbox, he has some cool accessories. It's a toolbox on a briefcase. Oh, yeah, I'm loving those animations. Super cool. <laughs> no, okay, so since Kabe has some connections with Dory, I'll introduce him. Why isn't Kabe uh, here, Kabe not Dory? Is an architect. And Kabe should be here. He has <laughs> sense for beauty and the arts that he's developed ever since he was a child. Not to brag or anything, but his magnum opus is the Palace of Alcazar Saray, which is crazy coincidence Write where down. Dory lives. And his designs Write not only down, provide chat. the required functionality, but also greatly incorporate his own artistic taste. See, he's a great him architect. Feel unique and noteworthy. Wait. Well, he sounds like a me. genius, so he must be pretty successful. Yeah. Uh, well, he doesn't quite lead the life of success and carefree spending like you might imagine. He broke. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of the opposite. He hardly has enough more to survive. Oh, man. Oh, Anthem got <laughs> okay, him, though. so he's broke. Interesting. No, he's uh, a sugar daddy. Why is that? Uh, well, it kind of comes down to Kaveh's personality. He's a very perceptive person, so he has this sensitive Sad and delicate story. side to his character. He's he broke also has and strong sense of empathy and can understand the emotions and thoughts of different people, which may actually be one of his sources of artistic inspiration. For example, when someone is trying to sell something to Kabe, all they have to do is make up some story about how the person oh, is go to helping poor children, and he'll practically hand over his mora. Like all of it. <laughs> wow. What a nice he can't say no to the cashier who asks if you <laughs> yeah. want to give a dollar to the Hunger that, Foundation. He doesn't limit himself with the cost of construction. He gives all of his money the away. Of Alcazar's array as an example, maybe only a real maniac architect like him who doesn't care about the costs could ever build something as amazing as that so he's in debt I respect him for that yeah but sure. it's probably these kinds of situations that have made him become roommates with all hate them but aren't like all hate them and cave polar opposites we see them bicker yeah, all the true. time about what everything well, cave thinks that all hate them lacks feelings for others and always disagrees with his point of view but like Anjali just said, Kave can understand how many people feel, but understanding doesn't always mean agreement. Right. Yeah, I think we're starting to understand Kave's character a little better now. So next we can move on He's to some He's stubborn, of his flashy, artistic, yeah, sure. and, and empathetic As person. As an architect, Kave can help everyone save some materials Dang. from creating furnishings. And his Which I do a lot, definitely. might come in handy during battle. As a unique and creative designer, Kave must like always Fortnite. bring tools with him. His toolbox Whoa. named Maroc not only provides Kave it's with like tools, blueprints. but also has many interesting uses. For example, Maroc's mapping ability allows him to scan oh. the battlefield, oh. causing all dendro cores within a certain AoE to burst immediately. Nice. In addition to that, when Maroc completely releases its energy, it converts Kave's attack damage to dendro damage. That's and so good! And increases Kave's combat capabilities. Uh, okay. You don't need to worry Exploding about the cores will be dendro easy. cores at the same time. Kave won't be hurt by them. In fact, one of Kave's talents actually causes him to recover a set HP. amount of HP when he takes damage from a dendro just core. for him though it's always good to have a reliable partner like that uh dendro is such a good element gives Baiju a lot he of help won't be too, hurt you know. exactly but maraca these is pretty are must have like, for me wield a sword for cafe that's a pretty awesome it's a sword box. not a claymore yeah <laughs> i know right uh okay oh, wait so it's claymore yeah should be just about everything oh, smaller how should i say this i think his character has more depth than we expected well, he a lot is of a usages here. Architect from the Nation of Wisdom. It's a claymore, so yeah. We shouldn't underestimate him. Yeah, Kave will be appearing in the main event for version 3.6. And he's falling so in half. Maybe we give some details about that next. Oh, he okay, have his own story okay, quest eventually. One. Our main event for version 3.6 is the Academia Extravaganza. Parade of In Providence. addition to the variety of celebrations, the oh, event also free serves on. as a chance for the six Darshans to compete. The Extravaganza consists of two main parts. The Wisdom Gala and the Inter Darshan Championship. Okay. In the Wisdom Gala, the six Darshans Layla. have prepared six corresponding activities to show off the style of each respective school. As for the Inter Darshan Championship, each of the Darshans it's will like be selecting for a single <laughs> member to represent their school in a large competition. 
Okay. Hmm. Great. So maybe we can talk about some gameplay that travelers can expect to see. It sounds like we'll be getting a total of six different game modes this time. That's a lot. Look at his little yeah. face. <laughs> Each of the six Narshans will be compiling their research. Who's the Geo, though, is the question. A new Geo enjoy. character? For example, Layla's or Dawahis They're not going to talk about this? setting up an astrolabe. <laughs> just going to skim by it? Astrology at their booth. When travelers adjust the astrolabe to the appropriate height and angle, the stars on the astrolabe will light, light up, up and form a pattern. Look, this time not the pattern Geo. is a cute little fungus. Aww. Aww, that does look like fun. <laughs> nice. Here's another one. The scholars from Kasharawar will have a game that displays their understanding well, this is of just like Fortnite. and architecture. This is like Travelers a zoo tycoon. Travelers will learn possible materials to build a road that meets certain requirements within a limited space. This is zoo tycoon, Ooh, man, right I'm here. I'm getting a lot of ideas That's kind of cool. One. I like this one. Okay. <laughs> it seems travelers will have a lot of freedom to try whatever arrangements they can think of to reach those goals. Dude, uh -huh. I'm gonna build a giant Next is taking their booth pretty I'm not told you versus watching this, um, that I wouldn't do that. They will be holding an archaeological activity where travelers will use specialized equipment to detect relic replicas. Travelers will okay. have to carefully observe the surrounding environment as they search, and even eliminate external interference affecting the detectors to find the relic uh, This one's alright. Oh. Well, this is all very nice, but uh, are there any games where we won't have to go running around as much? I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's something for like everyone me in these for game real. modes. With this one, you can just relax. It's just like Stay me. Stay put while you listen to a story. But as you're listening, you also uh. get to ask the storyteller some questions. If you're able Lore? to ask and uncover some key information, then you'll receive some clues Maybe to lead you to the truth of the Random. story. Very mysterious. Hmm. <laughs> Spontamod, on the other hand, okay. is preparing a small combat looks, experiment eh. to put travelers' combat abilities to the test within a set amount of time. Just travelers? They'll kindly provide a variety of potions to help travelers overcome situations in the experiment. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. Uh, okay. And, and last cool. but not least is a little bionic experiment set up by Tainari's Amorta Darshan. Travelers will be able to control replicas of various creatures Wait. and command their movement according to a specific rhythm. Hmm. Not sure. Oh, uh, looks like a like a for the wisdom gala. very linear so path which though. Which Darshan's events are you all most excited about? Maybe it gets oh, more complicated you know, than that. Spontum mod because. That's what I'm all about. Like combat and, Those look and okay. battle and victory and, and never losing. Uh, ever. Okay. Never die. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. I like the star one. Today. I like stars. It's very cool. Yeah. Simple. No, I'm most excited There's to There's a free far zone. Don't miss over that, chat. I think that's about my speed. <laughs> oh, I get that. And let's not forget that in addition to the Wisdom Gala, we still have the Inter Darshan Championship. The last one. This is a contest of wisdom. And Who's courage, the last one? And you won't want to miss seeing which Darshan is able to claim the title of champion. Very New cool. character of some sort. Oh, and there is one more thing to mention here. Layla's very own hangout oh, quest will be arriving with version 3.6, so be sure not to miss it. Can't wait okay, to sleep with all. her. I mean, yeah, sleep because she's sleepy. Layla. No, oh, not so with, but like separate, but like we're both tired. Okay, and our next sleep. event will also be taking place in Sumeru. Waynoot activity has suddenly been on the rise, <laughs> and the academia is dispatching researchers to respond to the problem. This time, we'll be oh, helping enough. scholars clear the desert of obstructions. Yo, what about Fontaine, guys? We're going to mention Fontaine stuff? And repel the wandering Waynoot. The Waynoot Slayer Cannon, huh? Wow, yeah, that's quite the name. It's <laughs> so like an anime title. <laughs> As the name cannon. implies, it's very effective against Waynoot. Our task will be to I clear out any monsters nearby forever. and help with the preparations so the cannon can start attacking. I'm sure our travelers <laughs> will be able to help handle the situation. Oh, yeah. It's a cannon. Uh, we also have one other event for travelers to continue Brewing improving their combat abilities. During the challenge, travelers will have to complete three consecutive combat rounds. During each round, the system Against will randomly fungus. activate one or okay, more, more trials. Of possible effects at set intervals of time. Mm. Oh, so I guess it's safe to say that no two rounds will play the same. I guess not. Yeah. If the buff you receive happens to synergize with your team composition, then your team will really start to shine. I personally think it's interesting to have these random elements added to the challenge. I feel like it'll bring some fun surprises to the gameplay. Yeah, this is all pretty yeah, much totally. standard stuff and we get every time. These effects are all pretty powerful. The I would like to see a brand new form like a mini game to play. Combinations and see what synergies they can come up with. 
And also, the overflowing mastery event will be returning Any once again. Any increasing? I mean, they're not mentioning anything. I feel like we mentioned it before now. Up their Maybe not this patch. In addition to the events we've already mentioned, they would have mentioned it by now. I think. More event taking place in an all new area. So first, I think we should reveal the new area. What? No, 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 no. Before we do that, let's take a quick break and give another redemption code. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I thought it was pretty big, Sounds so they mentioned it pretty quick. Oh, but one more note: we'll have some info regarding new <laughs> artifact sets during the break. So be sure not to miss that new artifacts they're dropping important stuff during these breaks nymph's dream artifact set hydro damage bonus for a two-piece set varu kasha's glow hp plus 20 percent for a two-piece set nymphs could be used for ayato possibly what about uh the second set who would get the second set usually welcome back cool everyone yeah, maybe for Gabe. we are back and ready to show an all new that scale area off of hp to the game that's right, and <gasps> I hope you're all as excited as we are. This area is located deep in the desert, in the northwest of the More desert Samaru. of Hadramavith. According to legends, it was one of the main rifts that monsters were emerging from during the Conria disaster 500 oh. years ago, and the site of a battlefield where God suppressed the power of the abyss. Oh. Although it was originally desert, the cool. ecological system has completely changed due to the power of the abyss, and it has become a large, uninhabited area of swamps and wastelands. It's Shrek! So you're Shrek and Genshin collab! cover some buried secrets about Conria there? Shrek's coming on the next uh, banner. On second thought, Just like Aloy. This sounds like it might be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we have some so, um, helpers to assist us wait, in our what search. The frick? There will be a party named Sorush waiting for us that will lend us its <laughs> abilities, allowing travelers to freely fly across <laughs> the we transform? Of the area and access some locations that would be impossible. We can fly! But... Wait. I have Wanderer, so I can, fly around I can get anywhere I want. I can already do this. <laughs> yeah, this, this will new. be your chance to fulfill your dream, Zach. We yes. have Wanderer! What do you mean? After helping Sorush recover its power, there will be a small That's event so for travelers to help it continue its training. We will guide Sorush like to drive away guy. enemies. Conduct speed training and complete Bomb. puzzles, so be sure to check it out. It's like bird poop. <laughs> Travelers may also encounter a new, new enemy during boss. their journey in version 3.6, the Iniquitous Baptist. Iniquitous its abilities Baptist. include using multiple elements in battle and creating shields for corresponding elements to reduce damage. It definitely looks like it'll be a formidable enemy. It looks That's annoying as hell. We have two more interesting enemies that travel. What is that? Come. The Animo and Hydro Hilichurl Rogues. These hilly churls are wandering across Tevat and do not belong to any particular they hilly churl so cool. tribe. Sometimes they assist other hilly churls or tribes in need of help. Those are and cool. And they also have a unique combat style. Even though it seems this place is full of new dangers, I like the that look of those. still won't stop the traveler from bringing new hope to the region. Their masks look like Some clues related to Conria are also waiting to be uncovered here, so it's Giga definitely churls. worth exploring. They look like Elden Ring boss last, hilly trolls. In or version enemies. 3.6. The legendary dragon of verger, a pep. This is what we saw in the opening. The dragon of verger was once an emerald dragon, green dragon that ruled Samaru, but its color later changed to that of yellow sand. Recently, the area looks sand. really cool. You fight in. Bonus. Travelers will be making their way to the Dendro Dragon's habitat to face it in battle, so we must be very careful. Why is it moving the like that? The battle will be split into three phases. An interesting part to take note of is that in the second phase of the fight, travelers will need to protect the Dendro Dragon from monsters in order to prevent the dragon's illness from getting any worse. Interesting. Oh, oh. That's different. Yes, and in the third phase, the Dendro Dragon will unleash some extremely powerful attacks, so travelers will need to be careful it's like to avoid withering those. the environment. Oh, yeah. At this point, we don't know what the Dendro Dragon has been through and what exactly caused it to change Trauma. into its current Lore. twisted form. Perhaps we'll get some more answers after Lore. we faced it in battle. Yeah. The dragon has a close connection with Sumeru's history and gods. Going into its lair and determining what's causing its current condition is an important task. We have to heal and him. I can fix the him. Entire nation of Sumeru. So, if you'd like to learn more about the Dendro Dragon, then be sure to check out Chapter 2 of Nahida's story. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Sure. That's what I'm talking I about. I there'll be a lot of interesting things. I haven't played Chapter 1 yet, one. so if so you want to watch that live, come to Twitch. To Absolutely. And uh, that's about all we have I'm for excited new content for her story in the upcoming quest. version. But before we wrap things up, we have an announcement regarding Genshin Impact's music. The second album for the Sumeru region titled Let's go. The Unfathomable Sand Dunes will That's cool. also be releasing soon. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. I love this. Can you actually buy them on this? Three disc yeah, feature. I do. This 108 album is tracks. Of three discs compiling all the original music that the Hoyo Mix team created for the Sumero region, spanning versions We're almost 3. on repeat, baby. to 3.6. On repeat. Okay, this is super cool. I'm yeah. super oh, excited. Yeah. Yeah. You sure and pick that up. I'm hyped. Right, so let's watch a trailer of the new tracks. OST and give our final redemption code of the day. Let's see, yeah, let him cook, hold on. Let him cook. All right, that's pretty good. You'll know when the, the song hits. You'll know when. Is that it? Was that... Was it? <laughs> That's your showcase of your mixtape? Bro, that wasn't even a snippet. That was a crumb. You know, for the live stream so far, I don't think they're going to drop anything big on us from here on out. That was pretty good. All right, so it seems like there's going to be a lot to enjoy in the new version. A lot of cool stuff coming, actually. Yeah. A lot to recap. You know what? I'm looking forward to spending more time with Nahida in her new story quest chapter. You are her, though. And, and, and confronting the new Dendro dragon. Dragon. Yeah, that's going to be Deez, crazy. Sorry. I'm I'm super happy to have gotten to come on this special program today. It was my How first time. How did you time. sneak in? So cool. And also, that trailer was so cool. Oh, so Definitely. Sad. It was. I think it's really cool that people will get to discover more about Baiju and that there's more to him than just the man who works at the booth. We've Bobby wanted to know for a while about <laughs> him. True, true that. I'm looking forward to the new area, new playables, and of course, the academia extravaganza. That'll be super, fun. Super fun to me. Yeah, for sure. Those look all right. But yeah, this is I'm the excited end about the characters the in the region, program. for it's sure. Been the so expansion. Great hanging with you guys. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you for having me again. Of bye, course. Nahida. This is the end. Oh, I'll see yes. you guys all in game. I love you, Bye, bye. bye. Oh. Y'all hear that?